pillow video for you guys. Now, I have been seeing these everywhere on sale on the internet, like Etsy, eBay, and other sites, and they're like over 20 bucks. And I'm like, these look so easy to recreate and just DIY at home. So I gave it a try, and I love how they all came out. So if you guys want to see how to make these three pillows, then just keep on watching. All right, to start this project, you are going to need some pillow stuffing and some fabric, which I got from Walmart. You will also need some scissors, a fabric crayon, pencil or marker, some pins, and a ruler. Now in this video, we will be making three pillows, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. So I decided to go with a yard long of fabric. And what you want to do is just start eyeballing it and just start drawing out how big you want your pillow. And once you're done tracing your shapes, then you just want to cut them out. Please make sure that you take your time with this because you do not want your pillow to come out uneven. That will not be good. And then once you're done, just start pinning it like this so that way your fabric does not move out of place. Now I'm just going to simply sew my pillow. Now if you guys do not know how to sew, don't worry. You guys can just use hot glue and glue your fabric that way. But make sure that you leave a little hole at the top. That way you will have enough room to stuff your pillow. Now with that little hole that you left at the top like I told you to do earlier, you're going to turn your pillow inside out and hopefully your pillow came out even. If not, if you did use hot glue, just peel the glue off and start over and if you sewed it, then just take a pick and pick it apart and start over. And this is how your pillow is supposed to look like. Alright, now here comes the time consuming part. Stuffing your pillow. That little hole that you left at the top, you want to start putting your stuffing through there. And it is a little hard, so you want to take a chopstick or something pointy to help you push the stuffing into your pillow. And once you're done, you can either hot glue your pillow shut or sew it. Now I'm going to admit, I got lazy, so instead of sewing my pillow shut, I just hot glued it and I put a pin to hold the glue in place. And that is what the three pillows should look like. Now for this next part, you are going to need a lot of hot glue, a hot glue gun, and some felt. I'm going to complete my hairy pillow first, so I'm just taking my fabric colored pencil and I'm tracing the outline of his sweater. And then I'm going to start doing that with all the other felt too. And I'm just going to mark where I want his tie to go. And basically you just outline it that way and make sure that you place your felt onto the pillow before you hot glue anything. The first thing that I'm going to glue is his tie and I'm going to glue that onto the little mark that I made and then I will glue the sweatshirt on top. Now I thought that his sweater looked a little plain so with the leftover white fabric I'm just tracing out the collar for his white t-shirt and I'm going to put everything in place and then I'm going to glue it down. Now just take your time with this part because the fabric is very light and thin so it's very easy for you to burn yourself which I did a couple times so just be careful guys. I'm just going to glue the little stripes on his tie. Now it's time to give our pillow some hair. So I'm measuring my felt with the pillow and I'm just going to make a little cut. Then I'm just going to start drawing his hairline and then I'm just going to cut that up. Now all you have to do is simply glue his hair onto the pillow. Now 
Now it is time to make Harry's glasses. So I just grabbed this candle holder and I started tracing around the rim on my felt. And keep in mind that I did fold my felt in half. That way my circles came out even. Then I folded them in half again to cut out the inside of his glasses. Alright, now you're just going to carefully glue his glasses onto the pillow. Just take your time with this step, guys, because you don't want to get burnt and you really don't want to mess up your pillow because then you have to start over and that will not be good. So just take your time with this. Now I'm just going to start working on my Ron pillow. Honestly guys, this is just a repetitive process. You do the same exact thing that you did to the hairy pillow. Except that we're going to give Ron his ginger hair of course and then his eyes. And then I'm also going to give him a green Christmas sweater with the letter R on it. You guys don't have to use green felt for this, but I love the way that it looks with his hair and everything. It just ties the whole pillow together. So for this part, just get any color felt that you want and just go for it. Now, lastly, for my Hermione pillow, I wanted to make her different from the boys, of course, so I made her the Gryffindor scarf. For this next part, I just cut out an even amount of stripes for the scarf, and then I just started hot gluing them. Now since this is Hermione's hair, you will need quite a bit of your brown felt. So just carefully outline her hair and then just carefully cut it out and then you just hot glue it onto the pillow. Now I'm just going to glue on her eyes and you're all finished. Alright my babies and there's the finished masterpiece. I just love how these came out. I cannot wait to put them on my bed. They just add a beautiful touch to my room and they turned out super cute. Alright my babies that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave some comments down below for me. Also, if you guys do decide to recreate any of these pillows, please tag me on pictures on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or you can just Snapchat them to me. I would love to see how your guys' DIYs came out. So until next time, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah. Wanna dance with me, pretty little sunshine island queen When you're whining you make a scene Oh, so beautiful I wanna...